So let's just start and talk about that. Uh, <laughs> That's about all I know. Well, you can just show it to us. Okay. We'd like to see it. You tell me who you are. My name's Dan Shelkoff. I live in Westerville. Okay, Dan, and, and you've brought something we've not seen yet. These are, well, tell us what they are. Well, it's my uncle's, who was from Fremont, Ohio, briefcase of all of his flight stuff for all of his war years. And what did he fly? Flew B-17s. And he was uh, based where? He was based in North Africa, flew 50 missions, came back to the United States, transitioned over to B-29s, and then was an instructor for the remaining uh, part of the war. Wow. And I believe he's also got records in here. He was in the Air Force Reserves until the mid-50s when he was fully discharged. Now, is your, is your uncle still alive? No. Died about a year and a half, two years okay. ago, okay. unfortunately. Was he, a, and w was he a pilot? He was a pilot. So there's a restricted information file for pilots. Wow. More pilot and Air Corps type information. And let me see. Some of these are kind of on the fragile side anymore. But you don't know a lot about your uncle in his service, is that correct? Well, you know, it was one of those deals where my dad was a B-17 bombardier. He got in near the end of the war, so he didn't have uh, quite as many hours as my uncle did. And when you get them together and they'd start telling stories, but I don't recall any of them that would ever really just sit around and, and talk about it, per se. But, you know, when you get into this, going to the back, you start keeping, that's, I'll come back to that, all right. but records that they would give him of all the time that he flew. So here are month after month after month after month records of all the aircraft that he was flying, mission times. Uh, every now and then you might see some of them just say mission. Some of them, I think it said Algiers to somewhere, but it's just tons and tons and tons of information on the life of a pilot from the start of the war to the end. Amazing. Yeah, very amazing. Um, this is his log book where he took a couple of flying lessons in a J-3 Cub before he went into, uh -huh. into the war, and there's only a few hours in there, and then he had 2,200 hours of flight time when he was discharged. So what else do we have? Just looks like nothing too terribly. I think this is a lot of his personnel file stuff, start to finish, transferred around, promotions, nice. and discharge. Wow, that's a great record you have of his service. It's a huge record of, of all of it. I fly for fun, uh -huh. and I've got a lot of friends that fly, and none of us have ever seen you know, log books from the war, so that's why I thought I'd bring it down here today see if anybody's interested in photographing and recording and, and documenting any of it. Well, those, those are great items, and thank you for bringing them in. You're very welcome.